Now, the National Insurance Commission is in the process of establishing a motor insurance database to keep information on insured vehicles aimed at reducing the number of uninsured vehicles on the country's road. NIC estimates show that 40% of vehicles plying Ghana's roads are uninsured. The move is aimed at tackling the menace of fake motor insurance tickets and a central source of information for all vehicle-related issues. An app will be developed to check whether a motor insurance is fake or not. Kofi Ando is the Deputy Commissioner of Insurance. The money that the people pay for these fake tickets actually go into the pocket of the criminals. They don't go to the insurance companies. So it, it amounts to a leakage from the insurance portfolio. We need to take money out of crime so people don't take advantage of us. Some of the implications of uninsured vehicles are innocent third party victims who are involved in an accident would not be compensated. If compensated, it is inadequate. The country also loses revenue. Some victims of fake motor insurance and unprocessed policy shared their experience. Chris Bruce was hit by an uninsured vehicle. After trying to get some conversation from the insurance, insurance company, I've been tracing up to date, only to be told that the insurance is not in their system, it is fake, and such therefore they cannot pay me anything. And the alternative is to refer the issue to the National Insurance Commission that has a provision for such cases. So up to date, I'm still chasing on that. Doreen Dodu had a motor insurance policy purchased at SCC DVLA near the old wager barrier in Accra, not processed by the agent. I didn't see it as any big deal until I spoke to somebody about it. He said, no, there's a menace in the insurance uh, companies that we want to do something about. It's something we all have to embrace. At the end of the day, we the policyholders are the ones in trouble. A driver at the 37 lorry station, Kwesi Afo, also shared his experience on fake motor insurance tickets. I bought an insurance from an office, but checks later revealed that it was fake. Spending money on a fake insurance will be a waste, so buy a genuine insurance policy. At the 37 and Achimota Highway lorry stations, drivers welcomed the move by the NIC, stating it was long overdue. Chairman of the 37 Transport Terminal, Kweku Frimpong, and Welfare Secretary at the Achimota Highway Terminal, Victor Ousu, noted education was critical in sanitizing the motor insurance sector. So it's a very good policy that you are bringing it. So we are supporting it 100%. But we need the education to go more. Commission, actual education. Drivers become agitated anytime they hear about insurance. This is because the commission has delayed in educating the people. We need to know the good insurance from the fake ones and also close down the bad companies. The deputy commissioner of insurance assured the motor insurance database will be managed well. We do have very um, competent consultants working on this and there are backup and security arrangements that they are making to make sure that the system works. The motor insurance database, which is expected to be linked to the DVLA, will be operational from the first quarter of next year.